So if you never had South African food but you want to try it, I'm going to show you some dishes in the video that you can try when you go and find a place and have it for the first time that are really, really good. And we're actually here at Dutchie's Gourmet Sausages in Plantation, Florida, here in South Florida. This is Broward County. So if you live in the area or if you'll be, or if you'll be traveling in the area, this is a good spot to come and try it for sure. So with that little intro out of the way, let's see. Yeah. So a good appetizer you'll probably be able to find at a South African restaurant is biltong. And here at Dutchies, they actually have a biltong snack platter. And this one has a biltong carpaccio, chili biltong, drubosh, I think that's how you say it. I hope I said that right. Pickled veggies, crostini, and then a uh, biltong pate. So like it's basically, they take slices of the biltong, if I remember right, and put it in a spice grinder and, a, and with cream cheese, right? Is that what she said? And then you get like a nice, basically a biltong cream cheese. It's got the same consistency of that cream cheese. And you slap it on some of the crostini, put some biltong on it, maybe a little bit of that uh, tomato jam there. And it's amazing. And if you're watching this, you probably never had this. You can really compare it to jerky. Like it's basically jerky because the biltong is uh, dried and aged beef. And they spice that up and then slice it and then you get this and it's really good. This does not lack any flavor. It's got so much flavor actually that you might think it's spicy. It's not spicy, but it's just plenty of flavor and plenty of seasoning. And then the, the Drubosh, I really hope I'm saying that right. This is more like a, I mean also very jerky-like, but more Slim Jim because it's in like a sausage like this, it's like a little roll. And it's awesome. So if you like salty, savory, really meaty taste and flavors, you're gonna wanna try this. It's a good appetizer. So one of the South African dishes that you need to try if you've never had it is the lamb bunny chow. And it's it's basically a lamb curry in a bread bowl. But let me let me read a little something for you. Slow braised lamb in a Durban spice sauce served in a freshly baked bread bowl with a South African side sambal. And when you look at it on the inside, it's definitely chucks of lamb. It's got a Peas. I think it looks like carrot, so it almost looks like a like a shepherd's pie or a meat pie kind of in a bread bowl. And this actually came from the Indian migrants that moved to South Africa, uh, specifically in Durban, which is a city in South Africa. So they started selling the lamb bunny chow as street food in Durban, South Africa. And one of the theories that I'm seeing right now is that they used the bread bowls as containers because they didn't have takeout boxes, which like I said is one of the theories. I don't know if that's 100% accurate. If anybody knows that's watching this, please let me know in the comments. But either way, that does not take away from the how good lamb bunny chow is. It definitely got that taste of an Indian curry. So if you love Indian food, you should try this because you'll like it. It's so good. The, the lamb is tender. It's full of flavor. It's not spicy. And if you're like, if you're between adventurous and not so adventurous when it comes to eating, this is still a good one because it's not anything crazy, I feel like. So yeah, lamb bunny chow. Add that to your list of South African foods you need to try. So another South African dish that you need to try and it's amazing, oxtail poiki. It's like, uh, how, would you, how would you describe it? It's like, yeah. I would say maybe like a, like a oxtail stew. And uh, yes, oxtail, like Jamaican oxtail. Um, this is made di differently because, like I said, it's like a stew, so there's like carrots and peas and potato in it. It's, it was served with, not rice, but it's called samp, and it's basically a uh, dried corn kernels that have been pounded and chopped until broken. And so, but it doesn't taste like corn, it doesn't have the same like, yeah. what's the word I'm looking for? Like, I feel like corn kind of pops a little bit when you eat it, you know, like a mini gusher, but like from the water that's inside of the corn, if that makes sense. And uh, but anyway, I'm getting off tangent here. All you need to know is that oxtail poiki, if you can find it, you need to have that. It's delicious, the meat is fatty, it's savory, it's juicy, full of flavor. I don't know, between lamb bunny chow and this, those are fighting for my favorite South African dish that I've tried at least. I mean, there's so many more that I need to try, but so far, those two are really good. And I forgot to mention in the beginning too, um, South African food is definitely different from several other countries. As I mentioned earlier with the lamb bunny chow, India is one of them, Portugal is another, a little bit of England. Uh, what else is there? She said Dutch, she even said Greek. I mean, I couldn't tell, but I just learned this today that it's of Portuguese influence. 
is a Mozambique style prawns, which are these giant prawns pan seared in peri peri sauce. I think you could also get it in, uh, at least here on the menu, they do it with garlic, lemon, butter. But if you're gonna have it, get it with the peri peri sauce. Peri peri sauce is the best. And uh, it came with some basmati rice. So if you like seafood, that's a great one to have too. Um, the peri peri is, a l is it spicy? Peri peri sauce? That was on the prawns? I don't think it was. Some, maybe, people, might think some people maybe might think it's spicy, but it's, 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 it's really not. It's not. If you like seafood, that's one you're going to want to try too. Mozambique style prawns for sure. And for those of you with sweet tooths, I'm going to show you a couple of desserts that you can try too. The first one being milk tart, which is like, when you look at it, when you get it, it'll look like a slice of pie. And it's got the pie crust, but it's not pie. It's like, it tastes like egg custard. Like it's super airy and light, and it's not super sweet at all at all but it will satisfy that sweet tooth for sure and oh don't let me not forget it also has um some cinnamon on it and then of course you have a nice crispy pie crust to it and the cinnamon on top the lightness of it that's a really good one if you have too big and too good of a regular meal beforehand and you just want to you want to satisfy that craving from your sweet tooth a milk tart is a good option but i think our favorite so far is this malva pudding which reminds me of like a uh, like if you've ever had banana foster it kind of tastes similar to that but it's warm and moist and juicy and it's sweeter than the milk tart so if you want something sweeter this would be a better option and it comes with this this cream that i don't even know how to describe it other than amazing i could eat a whole cake of that and that's the other thing it tastes like that's what i was gonna say it tastes like bread pudding that's what that is. Not banana bread or pumpkin bread. It's, it might be the best bread pudding you'll ever have. It's really good. Get some, please. And you'll love it. So I hope this video helped you figure out what to try when you go and have South African food for the first time. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.